there, friends. It's me, Mrs. Schoonerman, here to do some writing with you today. So today's topic is all about something that we all love to go and play at. It's the playground. I'm, we've all been to a playground before since we have one at Discovery. And there's so many different kinds of playgrounds. They have all sorts of neat, fun things to play on. Here's a picture of a playground that I found. It's got a swirly slide and a straight slide over here. It's got some monkey bars to climb across. Oh, so much fun. So let's go over what our targets are today. I'm gonna pull those up and we will read them. Our first target today is, I can label parts of a playground. And remember, the reason we add labels to our writing is to be able to tell our reader important details about our picture. Then our second target is, I can write a detail sentence using the writing process. So the writing process, let's talk about that again. Whenever we're going to make a writing piece, we always wanna start off by number one, we wanna think about our picture. We think about what we wanna put down on the paper before our pencil touches the paper at all. Think about it first. After we know what we're gonna draw, we go ahead and draw your picture. Next, when it's time to write words, we need to think about what words we're going to write before we put, start writing them down. So a good strategy is to think about the story, and once you have it in your head, say it five times. And last, after you've said it five times to yourself, you are ready to write that sentence. All right, so we are gonna move right on over to our writing board here and we'll get started. So I'm gonna just draw a playground that I see in my head. So if I were to go to a playground today, I would definitely hope that that playground had a humongous, gigantic, enormous slide. And the slide would have a ladder that you'd have to climb up in order to get to the top of the slide. Here's the handlebars. You grab onto those and then whee, down the slide you go. That's a really big slide. I wanna put a person going down with their arms in the, in the air and their feet here. Feet first on the slide to be safe. Their arms are up. Whee! Look how much fun that is. There they go. All right, so we've got our slide. When I go to the playground, I remember there's usually a swing set too. So I'm gonna draw a swing set over here. And we'll put two swings here for people to sit on. All right, something else at a playground. Oh, sometimes they have basketball hoops where you can play basketball. So we'll add a basketball hoop in the net. Okay. And, hmm, oh, a seesaw or a teeter-totter. I wonder if you've ever seen one of those. A seesaw has two sides to it, and one person sits on this side and holds onto a bar here, and then another person sits on this side, and they hold onto the bar. And then on a seesaw, one second, they need faces. There we go, and ears. Okay, so on the seesaw, this person, when this person goes down, this person goes up. And then when this person goes up, down, this person goes up and they go boop, 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 on the seesaw. That used to be one of my favorite rides to ride on when I went to the playground. All right, let's see, is there anything else missing from our playground? Hmm, oh, some monkey bars. So I'm gonna attach the monkey bars over on by the swings. So we'll add the monkey bars here. Boop, doop, doop, doop. There we go. Now, it is time to add some labels because if someone looked at this picture, they might not know all of the different parts of this playground. So we need to add some labels to it to help our reader understand what each part of the playground is. Remember, when we get to a word that we don't know how to spell, it's okay. We do know how to hear a beginning sound. So we can always start out by just writing a beginning sound down. 
moving further than that, you can also try tapping out the words and listening for other sounds that you hear. All right, let's start out with slide. So first I'm gonna say the word slowly, slide. Now I'm going to tap it out. Slide, slide. Okay, I think I'm ready to write those, those letters I hear. Here we go. Slide, slide. Next, let's go with the swings. I'm gonna draw a line and we're ready to do swings. Swings. Ooh, this one's a really tricky one. I'm going to just write a couple of letters and then I'm gonna tell you what the ending is. So s is the beginning sound we hear at the, at the start of the word. S w w. The end of this has three letters that when they are put together, they always make this sound. Ing. These three letters, I, N, G. Whenever you see those three letters together, it says ing, ing. So this is the word swing. So here are my swings. I'm gonna add an S to the end because I hear an S too. Swings. Next part, we'll do the basketball hoop. All right, let's draw our line. Basketball, that's a big word. So I'm just gonna go basket ball. I know that both of those words start with a B, so I'm just gonna add a B, B, basket ball. All right, next, next piece is the seesaw. Hmm, seesaw, that's a fun word. E saw. See saw. All right, anything else? Oh, the monkey bars. Here we go. We'll add one more label. Mmm. Mmm. Mung. I hear mmm. Mmm. Mon. I hear an O. Mmm. N. K. K. Monk. E. B. Rs. Monkey bars. Okay, now if someone came across my picture, they would know what each part of this playground is because they each have a label. Okay, it is time for us to write a sentence to describe what this picture is. Well, this is a picture of a playground. So that's kind of what I just wanna write. I just wanna say, this is a playground. So as good writers, we always think about what we want to write down, and I just thought about it. And then we want to say it how many times? Five times. So let's say it together five times. This is a playground. 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 I am ready to write my sentence. All right, I always start on the left side and I start every sentence with a capital letter. The first word is this, this. That's a sight word, so I can write that right down. I know what, how to spell that. I don't need to waste time sounding out anything. If it's a sight word, we know it in a snap and we can remember how to write it. This, leave a finger space because now I'm ready for my next word, is. That's another sight word. I don't need to waste any time sounding it out. Is, leave a finger space, A. Oh, we know how to spell that. This is A. Okay, here's where I'm gonna to have to sound out the rest of this word. Finger space, playground. That sounds like a big one. So I'm gonna start with just the word play. P, L, A, Y. Play. Okay. P. L. A. Y. Y. Hey, I hear a Y. This is a play. Is my sentence done? 
No, I still need to add the word ground to the end. Okay, so this is a play ground. G -r -ound. Hmm. G -g -r -ow. Play growl. Mm hmm. Okay. This is a playground. Yeah. I checked my sentence. Is there anything missing? That's right. I need something to say. Hey, the sentence is all done. It came to an end. So I have to add a period to say my, my sentence is complete. I completed my thought. I have a capital letter to start my sentence. My words have spaces between them. And I really paid attention to writing the letters the right way. All right. Writers, it is up to you. Now, I want you to think about a playground that you visited before, or maybe if you could build your very own playground with the coolest equipment ever, what would it look like? Draw a picture, go get a piece of paper, get a pencil, get your crayons, and make a, an amazing picture of a playground. Don't forget, add some labels so that your reader knows what each piece of the playground is. And then think about a sentence that you could add to describe what your picture is about to finish it up. Always make sure if you have an adult around who could please take a picture and send a picture of your work to your teacher, we would love to see it. Have a great rest of your day and happy writing. Bye.